Nice to be here. Uh, thank you to AWS for letting us have this opportunity to present what we do uh, technically at the PGA Tour. I'm Scott Gutterman. I'm the SVP of Digital Operations and Broadcast Technologies. Uh, my teams oversee essentially all the fan experiences at the PGA Tour and all the delivery of all the video content out to all of our partners and all of our fans. So as part of what we're doing at the PGA Tour, a big goal of ours is, of course, to preserve our history. Uh, we literally have hundreds of years of, not hundreds of years, but over 100, year, uh, 100, over 100 <laughs> years of uh, uh, being able to produce and show golf, going back to some of the earliest, uh, for earliest footage. So, you know, it goes back to, you know, Walter Hagen and includes Tiger Woods, uh, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus. So it's a great heritage that we have to preserve. In addition to that, that, you know, we're continuing to create more content and, and more content with our new stars and new and up and coming players. So what's really important for us now is not only to preserve what's happening as it goes on, but be able to get that out to our fans, get that out to our other platforms and get that out to our other experiences all the way across the board. So. About 10 years ago, uh, our team at PJ Tour Entertainment uh, began to launch what was the first of our MAMs, our Media Asset Management System, uh, which really very similar to what you've heard today, was a very physical system. There's a lot of videotapes. Uh, it was in storage. We used Iron Mountain. Uh, it all had to be maintained. We were building out in a hardened facility that we have in Florida. Um, and as we began to grow that, it became more and more obvious that as we reached kind of 5,000 hours of new content, um, and we needed this content to reach many more people, and many more people needed to have access to it. We really needed to get to our, make our MAM available over the internet and really begin to make it accessible. And really with our partnership with uh, AWS, where we started really in 2012 uh, with the digital properties, and we started putting our digital properties into the cloud, we also then began to turn to see what could we do with the cloud with the media asset management system. So those teams about two years ago began that work. Um, and as of this year, we've moved our entire archive up into the cloud which makes it accessible to all of our partners, not only through our, our platforms and for our fans, but it also makes it available to everybody that has a, is a rights holder at the PGA Tour. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of our partners, our, our TV partners, actually used to have an extra truck that they used to truck around on site that had all of the tapes that they needed to call back to in order to you know, get a highlight reel. If they needed something that Tiger had done in the past or Rory McIlroy had done in the past, they call over the other truck, somebody would have to find the tape, somebody would have to edit send it back to the broadcast. By that time, like 20 shots have probably gone by, um, and then they have to re-reference how you get to that shot uh, uh, you know, for the telecast. So now we're able to uh, uh, actually do that on the fly, and we allow our partners to on the fly. This allowed us to eliminate an entire truck on site, and it's also allowed us to eliminate over 16,000 VHS tapes that we had in storage, which we just recently uh, literally burned uh, and kind of left behind so that we, now that we are entirely in the cloud. So our goals here, again, were scalability. Um, you know, we have, uh, as we have normally, you know, in the past, we used to show three hours of golf, four days a week. And um, those days are long gone. Now we're showing pretty much 12 hours of golf, four days a week across five different tours. We have to be able to gather all of that content, get it into a central location, uh, get it up into the cloud, and then get it out to multiple rights holders, which has also increased over the years as well, too. So that became a very important aspect of what we were building with AWS. Uh, AWS uh, Media Connect has also become a big part of what we're doing to continue to distribute our live streaming data. Uh, for the first time uh, three, two years ago, actually in 2020, and then again in 2021, we implemented what's called Every Shot Live. And that's every single uh, shot was shown live at the Players' Championship for the first time, which is really done at any professional golf event from the very first drive to the very last putt. We had the ability through Media Connect to actually stream 28 streams in the morning, 28 streams in the afternoon, often depending on the number of players. And those, again, had to go out internationally to our international content providers, had to go out to different, in different types of languages, and it had to go out to our, our regional uh, partners here in the US as well, too, as well as our digital partners. So Media Connect was able to do that seamlessly. We actually went um, from taking all of the cameras, about 100, and, about 100 cameras on site for every shot live, which were manned. They, in the first year, went to a truck that was filled with elemental encoders, then up to the cloud. This past year, we actually went straight from the course to the cloud directly, even, you know, expediting really the delivery of the entertainment that the PJ Tour offers. The other big aspect of our partnership with AWS is expertise. Our teams are really good at golf and really good at golf technologies, uh, but we are not experts in the cloud. We are not experts yet uh, in video production in the cloud, and so that was something that we looked for when we were evaluating partners uh, that would become an official cloud partner for the PGA Tour, which AWS is, is for us. 
Uh, really having evaluated kind of the big three, we took a look at it and it was hands down that we needed to go with AWS. They were moving in the right direction. They had partners like Warner Brothers and CNN uh, that we could all lean on together to kind of get the expertise that we needed and to continue to grow what we needed to do, provide to our fans. And then uh, if, just again, just like everybody else, you know, single uh, facility vulnerability. So uh, while we don't have tornado issues in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, we do have hurricane issues uh, in Ponte Vedra Beach. And so a couple times a year we'll get a storm. And while we were in a hardened facility, I think it was a Cat 3 facility, or it is a Cat 3 facility that we have at PGA Tour Entertainment, you never know what's going to happen. And even if the power went off there, we needed to make sure that our TV partners were able to access the content they needed because we could be producing in Ponte Vedra, but the event could be going on in Los Angeles like in Riviera, um, and we need to still keep producing that. And by moving into the cloud, it's allowed us to achieve a level of business continuity uh, that's very important to our entire business. So what did we do to get our MAM in the cloud? Just a little bit by the numbers here. So right now, we're at 177 assets, uh, over 200,000 hours of content, not hundreds of years. Uh, 8.2 million logged entries, so a key part of what we do uh, through a series of partners, as many, as many of the folks here have talked about, is everything comes with metadata. Everything is delivered with metadata. So every single uh, clip, every highlight clip that we have is if uh, Roy McIlroy is about to win the FedEx Cup at the Tour Championship, and we know he's got a 20-foot putt. We have a golf technologies team that has all of that data. And when we produce that clip and it goes into the MAM, we pair those two things together so that we are able to then go into the MAM and find any shot at any time. And that's the way that most of our partners find it. It's also really the way that we deliver it to our, our platforms, both, both our apps and our website, to make sure that that highlight shows up on the right scorecard for the right player. And really what that's adding up to now is 13 petabytes of uh, content, which is 13 pe petabytes plus. So, uh, as we continue to enhance the amount of streaming that we do, as we continue to produce more video, that's growing more and more, and there really was no way for us to meet that on kind of the fly and the growth rate that we would have for need for a physical facility. So what, what's next for us? And really, you know, as I said in the beginning, where it starts for us is what's, what do our fans want? What can we provide to our fans to bring them closer to our players, closer to our events? What can we do to evolve what it means to attend an event? Because while it's great to attend the Players' Championship, in Northeast Florida, you know, are really are one of our premier events. Um, you know, not everybody can be there. So what, is, what do we need to do to make them feel like they're there? So for us, one of the big steps that we do, we have three kind of implementations here for us. Is over here uh, on, my, on my right uh, is our TourCast product, which is kind of our metaverse approach uh, to PGA Tour competition. It's a 3D representation of the entire course, right down to two centimeters uh, on the fairways and the greens uh, that our teams map out every single week. Our golf technology team delivers that data to us, and through that, we're able to actually create these environments that you can move around in just like a video game, and it's a particularly heavy use for our international fans where they want to come in and watch a replay uh, of, a, of a favorite like Hideki Matsuyama who might, might have played while you know, Japan was asleep overnight. So uh, that's a big part of what we're, what we're presenting. Every one of our video clips internationally goes out and is available in our tour cast, so it has to go quickly from the course, into the cloud, and then back out to our fan, you know, our fan engagement on TourCast. Uh, really here in the middle is one of our next steps, is that's augmented reality. And we have a team that uh, works on our innovation projects. And a big part of what we're capturing is enabling fans to now take out their phones using our golf technology data and the video through their phones and actually see our near, near real-time shot trails as you're standing there on the course just outside the ropes. And a big part of that is helping us deliver that content once somebody's captured it up into the cloud. And the last item I talked about just a minute ago, which is our Every Shot Live presentation, which is where we present every single group throughout the entire week of the Players' Championship. And that's something that we're going to continue to expand across a number of events. We're currently working on an initiative that will actually uh, take our scoring platforms and use cameras as a way to score the entire event. So we will have 120 permanent cameras across the entire course by the middle of next year. What that will allow us to do for the first time is actually throughout multiple events to capture every single shot that our players will, will take across the course. And when you think about how complex it is, what we do is usually about 200 acres. Uh, we usually have 14 live balls, like the, the balls are actually in the air at the time. That doesn't count other shots that are going on. So what we do is very complex, and we have to move that every single week and do it on a new course. These cameras are going to allow us to have a greater deal of flexibility. And really what we're going to be doing with AWS is gathering up all that content on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, putting that into the cloud, and that's going to go into our next initiative, which is our media lake, which is where we're going to be putting all of our assets, everything from our video assets to our scoring assets to our stats will all go into the media lake. And our goal there is to then work with AWS 
on AI and ML projects so that we can use that media lake to surface content that fans want to see as they're watching the event or as our our production partners want to see. So if Rory's getting ready to take that final shot at the at the Tour Championship and he is 20 feet, what we want is the AINML there to say, you know what, Rory's had the same shot five times on this green. Here are the video clips that, he, that from those shots. Here's the data related to those shots. That really allows our production team to immediately put that into the broadcast or may allow you as a fan to customize the type of data that you want to see out of your PGA Tour experience. So this is another big initiative that we're about to engage, into, engage in. And then we really believe that there will be uh, continue to be more and more opportunities here, not only to serve our fans, but to serve our players. Uh, as we get into this new, new era, we will be able to serve our players every single shot after their rounds are done, immediately after they're done, uh, with speed, what we're going to call speed rounds. It's something that we already do uh, to some degree at some events. And then what we'll be able to do is allow them to evaluate their games in between, uh, in between every one of their rounds. Matter of fact, this year at the Players' Championship, the top two players actually were reviewing their speed rounds every night after, the players after their round was done. Um, and you can see them move up the board, and one of the players actually really remarked, he's like, the fact that I could review my round, review that with my coach, take a look at my swing, gave me an advantage uh, uh, the next day as they came out to play. So it's something we're very excited about with our fans. It's something that we're very excited to provide our players. Um, and AWS has really enabled us to kind of reach this new ground, um, and we really see that the opportunities are going to be endless, not only to preserve what the PGA Tour has, um, but to be able to create more entertainment uh, for our fans as well.